Let's turn now to Bornu State, where government says it's committed to reviving its health sector. The reason for this is to enable citizens to have access to effective, efficient, and affordable health care. Chief of Staff to the State Governor, Professor Issa Mate, stated this while during a stakeholders meeting with healthcare actors in Meduguri, the state capital. We'd like to warn that this report has scenes with flash photography and viewers' discretion is strongly advised. Tipus News, Jesse Tafida reports. The Boko Haram insurgency has destroyed over 700 health facilities in the northeast region. Brno State has lost up to 40% of its health facility due to the conflict. This has resulted in a poor health care system in the state for almost nine years. But the state government is not sitting idly by as it has reconstructed most of the destroyed health care facilities and equipped them with modern facilities. It has also established the Borno Contributory Health Care Management Agency, saddled with the responsibility of providing equitable health care services to citizens of the state. Now, the agency is meeting with health care actors in the state to roll out plans on how best to cater for the health care needs of the vulnerable in the society. At this meeting are representatives from Primary Health Care, the National Health Insurance Scheme, the Emirate Council, SEMA and NIMSI. Welcome. The chief of staff to the state governor, Professor Issa Martin, notes that the government will continue to implement its plans to revamp the health sector in the state. He affirms that government will support the primary health care agency plans to provide easy access to health care services for the vulnerable people in the state. Uh, the next few months or years, we will see uh, Borno State competing favorably, probably with Lagos or other uh, advanced countries. But um, we have a lot of uh, challenges which we are really ready to tackle and move ahead. On his part, the executive secretary of the agency, Dr. Abbasale, assured that the agency is geared towards incorporating more healthcare facilities into the scheme so as to reach the vulnerable, especially those living in IDP camps. We need to actually coordinate our activities so that, that those vulnerable people should actually be, be taken care of. Right now, we have gone far with our enrollment processes as far as the formal sector is concerned. But for the vulnerable group, that's where, uh, why we are here and one of the important things. Stakeholders at the meeting highlighted some grey areas which need to be addressed by the agency. They suggest that vulnerable people should include displaced persons, widows, orphans and the less privileged in the society. The Borno State Government has assured that it will continue to provide all the needed resources so as to revamp the health sector in the state. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Maiduguri.